Hi, I'm Danny from FCCU, and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday, where we show you how to use our technology at FCCU, as well as some advice on how to stay safe in the digital world. I regret to inform you that this is the last time that you'll ever hear our beautiful jingle from our cybersecurity mini series, Fun with Fishing. It's so sad. This week, we're going to talk about farming, which is yet another way that fraudsters try to lure you into giving out your personal information. Farming uses domain spoofing, where the fraudster manipulates your computer or the DNS server to redirect you to a fraudulent website without even noticing. For example, you type in www.facebook.com, but instead of going to Facebook's real website, you're redirected to a fraudulent website called www.facebook.com with an extra O. You barely notice because the fraudulent website's design looks exactly like Facebook's and the URL is just barely different. So you use your login information and boom, the fraudster now has your Facebook username and password. Without going into too many details about DNS servers and other IT jargon, I'm going to give you some tips and examples about farming that's gonna help you protect your information. Number one, pay attention to the website's URL. As you can see, both PayPal websites look identical. However, the URLs are different. The real PayPal website is www.paypal.com. The fraudulent website is www.something something has the word PayPal in it.com. A good way to know if a website is legit is checking for an EV certificate next to the URL. It should contain a green bar, secure padlock, and a company's full name. Number two, don't forget to install a trusted antivirus on your computer. It will alert you of known spoofed websites as well as do so much more for you. Number three, don't disable or weaken your firewall. And I'm about to get a little intense here, but always, always, always allow for computer updates. Always. Every computer update includes patches for known vulnerabilities on your computer. Cyber criminals use these vulnerabilities to attack computers that have not received these patches. Many of the most popular and most devastating hacks that have happened this year have happened because people have not patched their computer and cyber criminals have taken advantage of these vulnerabilities. In summary, anytime you type in a password, personal, or financial information, take a quick look at the URL and EV certificate and your web browser. It takes about five seconds to look and much longer to recover your stolen information. Before I sign off, I'd like to thank Metropolitan Networks for their awesome article on the different types of phishing. They've been a huge source of information during this mini series. I've been Danny from SCCU. Be sure to like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and like this video. We'll see you next time. Farming uses domain spoofing where the fraudster tries to read your mind. What? Where the fraudster manipulates your computer or the DNS server, the DNS server, the only one in the world. Farming uses domain spoofing where the fraudster, gosh dang it, that was correct. One take.